India has abundance of rivers all across its geographical extent except for the arid desert in northwestern part of India. Let us look at the various rivers in India, the different dams and projects on them and other things across the course that these rivers traverse. The rivers in India can be classified into two broad categories, Himalayan perennial rivers and non-perennial peninsular rivers. The Himalayan rivers, as the name indicates, have their source in the Himalayas. There are three major river systems. Yes, river systems, because these three major rivers are systems onto themselves with tributaries that have their own tributaries and so on. They are Indus, Ganga or the Ganges, Brahmaputra, which goes by different names that we would get into later. First, the Indus. No prizes for guessing that this is the river from which the name of India is derived. Although, now a major part of its course is in Pakistan. Indus, also called Sindhu, originates near the vicinity of the famous Mansarovar Lake in the Himalayas. This region now lies in Tibet. From Tibet through Ladakh, Hindu Kush mountains moving southwards into Pakistan and finally draining into Arabian Sea near the port city of Karachi. It travels a total length of 3202 kilometers. The length of Indus River in India is 1114 kilometers. It has a catchment area of 321289 square kilometers. Indus has five major tributaries. Chinab, Chilam, Ravi, Satluj and Bias. We get the name Punjab from these five rivers. Chinab River originates in the upper Himalayas in Himachal Pradesh and joins Indus River in Uch Sharif, Pakistan. As per the Indus Water Treaty, the waters of Chinab are allocated to Pakistan. The length of the river is 960 kilometers, of which 431 kilometers is in India. Chilam rises from Pir Panjal in southeastern part of Kashmir, travels through Kashmir Valley and joins Chinab in Pakistan's part of Punjab. It has a length of 725 kilometers with only 221 kilometers in India. Ravi is a transboundary river of India and Pakistan. It originates in Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh. It travels for 720 kilometers and joins the Chinab River. According to Indus Water Treaty, the waters of Ravi River belong to India. The length of Ravi in India is 258 kilometers. Satluj is the largest tributary of Indus. It has a total length of 1529 kilometers, of which 657 kilometers is in India. The waters are shared by both India and Pakistan. There are several hydroelectricity projects on Satluj and it also forms the source for many irrigation canals. Bias is the smaller of five rivers which originates in central Himachal Pradesh, flows for approximately 493 kilometers and joins river Satluj in Punjab, India. Bias is the home for one of the two subspecies of South Asian river dolphin called the Indus dolphin. Shayok and Gilgit are other tributaries which flow into the right bank of Indus. Let us now look at the different projects and dams on Indus river system. Salal Dam or Salal Hydroelectric Project is built on Chinab River in Jammu and Kashmir. Primu Barrage is located at the confluence of Jhelum and Chinab. Uri Dam, yeah, the name sounds familiar and rightly so, is located on Jhelum River in Uri Baramulla. The most prominent multipurpose project is the Bhakra Dam on River Satlej, which forms the Govind Sagar Reservoir, the third largest in India. The dam was described as New Temple of Resurgent India by our first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Nangal Dam is located downstream. Other prominent projects on Satlaj are Karcham Wangtu Hydroelectric Plant, Nadpa Jakri Dam and Koldam Dam Hydropower Project. All of these are located in Himachal Pradesh. Pando Dam and Pong Dam are located on Bias River. The next major river is Ganga. It is the largest river that flows within India with a length of 2,525 kilometers and a catchment area of 8,61,452 square kilometers. 
Ganga has its origin in Gangotri glacier in Himalayas which is in the state of Uttarakhand. At the origins it is known by the name Bhagiradi which joins with another river Alakananda at Devaprayag forming the Ganga. It flows through Rishikesh and enters into what we refer to as the Gangetic plain. It joins its largest tributary Yamuna at Prayagraj earlier referred to as Allahabad. Yamuna has a total length of 1516 kilometers and is one of the largest rivers in India that does not flow into the sea. Ganga flows through the states of Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. In West Bengal, it forms a delta and creates a tributary called as Hooghly. Hooghly further has a large tributary known as River Damodar. Faraka barrage controls the flow of Ganga and is located just before Ganga enters Bangladesh. Here, Ganga is referred to as River Padma. This is also the place for the world renowned Sundarabans. Ganga has major tributaries both on the left bank as well as the right bank. The rivers joining Ganga on the left bank have their origins in the Himalayas and are themselves perennial rivers. These rivers include Gomti, Dhagra, which is Ganga's largest tributary, Gandaki, and Kosi. The tributaries of Ganga joining on its right bank have their origins in the central plateau region of India. Son is a prominent tributary on the right bank. Chambal and Betwa, also originating in central India, are the tributaries of river Yamuna. Ganga is the lifeblood of Gangetic plains and has many prominent places located on its banks across its course. Few of the major canals, dams and multi-purpose projects on Ganga and its tributaries include Ganga Canal, irrigating the Doha region between Ganga and Yamuna. As mentioned earlier, Faraka Barrage near Bangladesh, Bansagar Dam built on Son River, Gandak Project on River Gandak in Bihar, Kosi project, a joint venture by India and Nepal on River Kosi. Matatiyal project on River Betwa. Chambal project on River Chambal undertaken by Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. It also has Jahar Sagar Dam and Rana Pratap Dam in Rajasthan along with Gandhi Sagar Dam in Madhya Pradesh. Damodar Valley project on River Damodar is another important project. Ganges Dolphin and Gharial are found in the waters of River Ganga. Brahmaputra River is a transboundary river that flows through China, India and Bangladesh. It originates near Mansarovar Lake in Himalayas and flows east through Tibet where it is known as Sangpo River. It enters India through Arunachal Pradesh where it is referred to as Brahmaputra. Continuing its flow through Assam, it enters Bangladesh. Here, a dispute of Brahmaputra known as Jamuna joins Padma. Another distributary of Brahmaputra joins downstream and now the river is referred to as Meghana, which then flows into Bay of Bengal. It has a total length of 2,899 kilometers, of which only 916 kilometers is in India. The Bang, Lohit and Tista are major tributaries of Brahmaputra in India. Floods during the rainy season are a regular feature of Brahmaputra, creating havoc in multiple states, especially Assam. The famous Kajiranga National Park is situated near Brahmaputra. Major projects on Brahmaputra river system are Rangit Dam on Ranjit River, a tributary of Tista, Ranganadi Dam in Arunachal Pradesh, Subansri Dam and Upper Siang Hydroelectric Project. The dams being constructed by China in the upstream of Brahmaputra is a matter of concern for India. The to be completed Dibang Dam on Dibang River would be the world's tallest concrete gravity dam in the world after completion. Barak is a river in northeastern India, flowing through the states of Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, and Assam before entering Bangladesh. It is one of the richest biodiversity zones in the world. The long pending the Payamuk Dam is the cause of conflict between India and Bangladesh. 
This is part one of our videos on Indian rivers. In the next video, we would look into the non-perennial peninsula rivers. Subscribe to Factly and hit the bell icon for updates.